Well, let's take a look at what is happening in the markets and we start off with the JSC. And on that front, uh, investors locally digesting the latest consumer inflation print uh, that came out today for April. Uh, they're slowly um, cooling down from 5.3% uh, to 5.2%. Uh, in April. Uh, so of course we are seeing though, uh, even with those slightly good news, uh, the JSC in the red, the all share there, um, extending those losses that we had seen yesterday, uh, declining four tenths of a percent, that largely coming from the resources 10 complex, with a slump of more than one and a half percent, followed by the industrial 25, uh, with a slight uh, edging down of uh, more than a tenth of a percent, and the financial 15, uh, 0 0.08 percent below that flat line. Let's take a look at what is happening stateside and on that front quite a lot that markets uh, have their eyeballs on or will have their eyeballs on later on today. Of course waiting for uh, Nvidia uh, earnings uh, there. Of course we know how much the chip makers uh, stock has run so it's going to be quite interesting to see the numbers and the outlook that come out from that earnings report. Uh, markets also waiting for Fed minutes from its last meeting at around 8 p.m. South African time. Quite a mixed picture over there. Um, of course, those markets coming off record highs that we saw uh, in the S&P 500 and tech heavy NASDAQ yesterday. Uh, the S&P 500 uh, just 0.02 percent below that flat line. The tech heavy NASDAQ uh, extending those gains from yesterday up by more than a tenth of a percent. A slump though in the Dow of almost a fifth of a percent. Let's take a look at what is happening across the Atlantic and on that front investors also digesting inflation figures uh, coming out from the UK. Uh, so the assuming that uh, inflation there is almost at the Bank of England's 2% uh, target coming in at 2.3% uh, in April from 3.2% in March. Although investors or well, the markets did anticipate uh, cooling down there to 2.1%. A sea of red though there, uh, FTSE 100 declining 6 tenths of a percent, the CAC 40 down by almost a similar margin and the DAX there coming off almost a fifth of a percent. Let's take a look at what is happening on the currency scene and start off with how the RAND is doing against some of the major currencies. Uh, some weakness coming through to the RAND, uh, almost 1% against the US dollar at 18 Rand 24 now, against the pound at 23 Rand 22 and against the euro at 19 Rand 77. Let's check in on how the other currency pairs are doing, starting off with the euro dollar at 1.08, pound a dollar at 1.27, and the yen against the US dollar just above 156 against that currency.